Last night, I ended up, this is bad, I ended up, uh, I fell asleep and then I woke back up again. And then I ended up watching uh, the Bob Crane movie, which I'd never seen before. Autofocus. Autofocus. Yeah. That's good. You haven't seen that? No. I, when I, growing up in L.A., I was a huge Bob Crane fan, way, way before Hogan's Heroes. He was on the radio yeah. and he was awesome. I thought you saw that. Really? No, I don't want to see it. Oh. I didn't want to see it last night. I didn't even watch the end of it. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't watch it. Yeah. It's a weird one. Uh, yeah, Willem Dafoe is so right. creepy. Right. A lovable Greg Kinnear, though. Yeah. I love Why Greg Kinnear. Not? And I love Bob Crane. I would love to see Greg Kinnear do, be Bob Crane when he was like good on, on the radio. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Maybe nailing a few chicks here and there. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You or, know? Or Greg Kinnear in a Hogan's Heroes remake. Set in Iraq or something. Yeah, <laughs> right. Because they because when they did the scenes from Hogan's Heroes, it wasn't bad. Right. Yeah. Oh, Hogan! <laughs> Everyone who played the characters from Hogan's Heroes were really good. Oh, General Burkhalter! Imagine my surprise at seeing you here. You know, like that. Yeah. But it's but it turns out you know he's doing dinner theater and he's it's just it's bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. When he dies, and that guy like keeps a... touching his butt. Yeah, and he, and he dies in that. Like, didn't he die in a crappy hotel or something? I think so. I, I, I didn't. I didn't stay till the end. Yeah, like I think he died in like a motel and just not not a good. Yeah, it wasn't. Yeah, yeah. What was his catchphrase? Yeah, you know, every time he took a picture, he'd say, "Do you remember that?" He'd say, "You know, like." <laughs> smile, I smile, think, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. the girls would hold up their shirts. <laughs> yeah, smile. Let's do that smile thing. <laughs> yeah. Smile. Yeah. Um, but it, so I found it to be very upsetting. Yeah. I just found the whole thing to be upsetting because I I enjoyed him. That mo- that movie was uncool. That's <laughs> that was an uncool movie. <laughs> It's Paul Schrader, you know, taxi driver. He likes to delve into the uh, dude. I get it, the but dirty I mean, stuff. I know, but I mean, that's just like unfair. Yeah. <laughs> the guy was on the radio for like fifteen, twenty years. He did like awesome radio shows every day. Then he got he got mixed up in a bad sitcom. I uh, got typecast. Got hooked up with a, an Ampex uh, video salesman. <laughs> We've all been there. You know, <laughs> uh, he's doing dinner theater in, in Scottsdale. You know, what else is there to do but nail chicks back at the motel? Yeah. Then he's got that Will- Willem Dafoe touching his butt. You know, weird stuff. <laughs> uh, they should have focused more on the front end. Promise me you won't let them focus on the tail end of my life. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> Somebody. <laughs> It's like when Pete directs your movie, it'll start out with you biking through the forest preserve. Stop. Right. <laughs> right. Backing my bike in. <laughs> then he devolved into watching gay porn because he loved men. It right. says the guy who likes to look at Raphael Nadal's ass and pretends it's because he picks his, he picks his underpants out of his crack after every shot. But you know that's not it. That's no. funny once. <laughs> yeah, not for all. Funny once. Match. Like, hey, look. Yeah. Or yeah, maybe like for a set. Uh-huh. Oh, look, every, every, after every shot, he pulls his underpants out of his crack. Not for a lifetime, Pete. <laughs> Not for a lifetime. That's wrong. You know it's wrong. Oh, Rafa. Let, let's have your movie be that. <laughs> you getting humped by a pit bull. <laughs> the girl, the midget hand. <laughs> which made your penis look bigger.